In the last class, we created this design in Adobe XD, and now we're going to move from designing into prototyping. So let's get started on that. The first thing that we have to do is move over to the prototype in the top left-hand corner of the interface. Once we're in the prototype, we can start wiring up this design. So if we click on these buttons here, we can then grab this arrow and drag it to the next screen. When we do so, we see over here how that will take place. So our trigger for this will be a tap, when the person taps on this section here, we will transition to this particular screen. We'll do that by sliding left. And we can try that out by hitting the play button in the top right corner. If I click here, we see that transition. Okay, that's good. So if we grab this tutor to me, we always thought this would be a way to get back to this screen. So let's drag it this way and we'll do a slide right for that to go backwards. Next thing we'll do here is drag this one over onto the next side over here. So when the user clicks on a time, they'll go over to this screen over here. Let's change it to slide left. And then to get back to the beginning, to ask the user to tap or to do something like that is a little bit much. What would normally happen is it would go back after a period of time. So if we grab where it says iPhone XXS up at the top there and it's blue, we can then drag this whole thing over here and the trigger this time can be time because it's on the whole document of the screen. Let's do it after one second and we'll go back to that particular screen there. So let's try the whole thing out. Let's hit play and we click here. We click again and after a second it should take us back again. We can't do any longer than a second which is a shame because it'd be nice to have a little longer just to read that but there we can see it working and if we go to this button here it does take us back again by sliding right. So now we can test that with people. Now if this was a fully finished design, what I would probably do is after this particular screen here, when they go back to the home page, go back to a slightly different home page that has something that recognizes that this person has booked and then they could go in and see all the bookings that they have and maybe if possible, delete one of those bookings. But for this being one of our first designs we're going to do in here, that will be sufficient. So when you're done, you can save your work. I'm gonna call this app version two and save it. And another thing that we can do with this is share this so that other people can see it. So if we click the share button up here, we can say share for review. Anyone with the link, create the link. And the link's down here at the bottom. So we can click on that. And here we see the finished design ready for somebody to test and to use. Anybody coming in here can make a comment and add comments on here and that way you can get feedback about how good your design is and about whether it's working or not. So that's very simply how to design and create a prototype using Adobe XD. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.